hi everyone and welcome to the channel today we are back with an another salesforce flow video and today in this video we are going to learn how we can display child account contacts using flow and if you are new to the channel then subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a video you get a notification so in salesforce we have a concept of relationship between the objects and the records and the relationship between a parent account and the child account is considered as a hierarchical relationship so whenever there is a parent account having multiple child accounts so those accounts also consist of many contact records and when you have to view the contacts of all of the child accounts then you have to navigate to that child account and then go to the contact section and there you can view the contacts so this is a very lengthy process to view those child contacts and when you have a multiple child accounts for a single account record then it will be a very lengthy task to navigate to each child contact and view the contact list so here we are going to automate the process through which we can fetch and display all the contact of every child accounts on the account record page so let's move ahead and see how we can display child account contact using flow in salesforce so now on the screen you can see the structure of the screen flow that we are going to create so here in the screen flow we will first get the child accounts and then we are going to add a loop and that loop is going to iterate through all the child accounts of the parent account and from there first it will create a collection of those child accounts and after that it will get all the contact records of all child accounts and at last with the help of a screen element we will display those child contacts on the parent account record page so now we will navigate to the setup page and from there i will show you the whole process so as of now i am on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here we will navigate to the flows setup for that click on the quick find and search and select flows so here in the flow setup window click on the new flow button and we are going to create this flow from scratch so select the option start from scratch and click on next and as i've told you this is going to be the screen flow because we need to display the records on the record page so we will select the option screen flow and click on the create button so first thing that we are going to create here is a variable to store the record id and we will pass this record id into the flow when the flow is embedded on the lighting record page so for that we will create a variable record id for that click on the toggle button on the left hand side and here click on the new resource button and here resource type select as variable and then enter the api name as record id and you must enter the api name as a record id to fetch the current id of the account record page and the data type is here is going to be as text and we have to make this available for input and at last click on the done button so to get the child accounts we are going to add a get record element to the flow for that click on the plus icon and here select this get record element now we here we have to enter the label in the api name so here i have entered the label as get child accounts and the api name will be auto filled and the object here is going to be the account and in the condition requirements we have to select the field as parent id parent account id that will be equals to record id this is the variable that we have created right now so after this scroll down and in the field how many records to store select all records because here we are trying to fetch all child contacts of a parent contact record and uh, here how to store record data here select the option choose fields and let salesforce do the rest and now i will close it from here so till now we have created the step to get the parent account record but what we need is a child record that is a contact of child account record so now we are going to create the get contact step which will get us the contact whose account id exists in the account that we get from the this get child accounts so here the get account component will give us a collection of record but we can't use that as an operator to get the contact id so for that we will create a loop that will return a variable in a text collection so again we need to create a new resource so for that i will click on the button new resource and here the resource type is going to be the variable and the api name i will enter here as account ids and then select the data type as text and here we have to select the option allow multiple values because because it is going to be a collection of records and at last click on the done button and now we will add a loop element to this flow for that click on the plus icon and here select loop so here i am going to enter the label and the api name and in the select collection variable select the account from get accounts so here we have selected the collection variable and the direction we have to select the first item to last item 
and after this we are going to add an assignment element to the loop and this assignment will collect the ids from the record collection and add them to our text collection so here we are pushing a complex variable to a simple variable so here click on the for each and then select assignment here enter the label in the api name for the assignment element in the api name will be auto filled the variable values are going to be like variable as account ids that is the text variable and the operator is going to be as add because we are going to add all the fetched records so the value is going to be the current item from loop then account id here it is and now we are going to add a get record component to get the contacts of child account for that here i will click on this plus icon and then select get records so here we have to enter the label and the api name so i am entering label as get contact records and the api name will be auto filled and the object here is going to be the contact and in the condition requirements here select the field as account id and the operator is going to be here is in and the value will be account ids and in the field how many records to store select the option all records so now we are done with this also and at last we are going to add the screen element that will display the child contacts so here is the screen element first we have to enter the label and the api name so here i am entering label as display contacts and the api name will be auto filled and after this what we are going to do here is we are going to display the information of child contacts in the table format so for that we will drag this data table component to the screen region so for data table here enter the api name as contacts table and the label here is going to be the contacts and in the source collection click on it and select contacts from get contact records and to add the column click on the configure columns and in the column option select source field and here in the source field we have to select the fields that we have that we want to display in the details of child contacts so here i have selected first name then click done again add another column for that you have to again click on this resource and here i have the next column i have selected as last name so in the same way i have added the column first name last name account id and title and after adding these columns click on the done button so as of now we have completed the flow structure and now we will save and activate the flow to save this we will click on the save button and i am going to save this flow as list child account contacts the flow api name will be auto filled and after this we will click on the save button and to check the working of the flow we will debug the flow for that click on the debug button and here we have to enter the record id so here in the record id we will enter the id of the account record whose child account contacts we want to display so from here i will navigate to the accounts tab and here i will select an account having multiple or at least a one child account so here i am going to select the id of derfi chemicals and it is having a hierarchical relationship with the account record burlington textile corp so this flow is going to display the contact records of burlington textile corp so here i will copy the id of delphi chemicals so here i am going to copy the id of this account record and now i will go back to the debug window and here click on debug button now enter now i am going to enter the record id here and after entering the record id i will click on the run button so on the screen we can see the contacts of child account record of a parent account and they are displayed with the information that we have selected in the screen element that is the first name last name account id and the title so our flow is working fine and after this you can activate and deploy this flow on your account record page so this is how we can use the screen flow to display child account contacts in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye